peace family i hope you are happy and healthy and doing well today i want to share with you guys my absolute favorite perennial um so far since i'm still new to gardening so perennial is a plant that you only have to plant once um this particular perennial is evergreen so it really doesn't die out no matter what's going on um and it's like fruit trees greens like a tree collard um that's a perennial so it's something that not an annual that you have to keep planting every year and then they die off so perennials are really really great if you are trying to get to food sustainability the reason why i actually bought this perennial and i learned about it was because i kept trying to grow spinach and for some reason in the climate or maybe it was me i was not able to get spinach growing but what i do have is longevity spinach and i absolutely love it so i'm going to show you guys exactly why i love it and um i would encourage anybody to get at least one longevity spinach plant in your garden <clears throat> so i have two plants i bought them at start at the nursery look how beautiful and lush they are they're very very easy to take care of they really don't have any issues with pests as far as i can see like i had aphids on the flowers for a little bit they all i did was spray them off and now that there are no flowers there are no aphids um we eat them in salad a lot i make salad my four-year-old she loves to come out here and harvest for salad and longevity spinach is always available even if you're planting um lettuces and other things this is a green that you can always mix in your smoothies your green drinks you can eat them as salad i haven't cooked with it yet but i've been told that it operates a lot like spinach so number one they're super easy to care for i have them over here not in the sunniest part of the garden and they're happy that's basically it i do fertilize them because they're green so i use fish emulsion to fertilize them every two to three weeks or so um other than that they're perfectly fine they would do great in the ground and if you want them to get bigger just put them in bigger pots and then they just get bigger i'm also going to show you guys i have some in different stages so when we moved here to houston um in the back of the u-haul a piece of the longevity spinach broke off and so i rooted it i put it in a little pot with some soil and it sprouted roots and now it's over here on the side of mommy's yard so this beauty was a cutting from one of the plants that i just showed you it's about okay so it was cut off or broke off about a month and a half ago i had it sprout roots and now it's planted here and it has even gotten a little bit bigger here so this will be a nice green for her to have in her yard now so the second thing that I love about longevity spinach is how easy it is to get more of it. Um, I'm currently rooting some for one of my aunts in this pot. So she came over and she was like, what longevity spinach? So we just broke off a piece and stuck them in here. And this leaf is new. A couple of those, sorry, a couple of these little leaves are new. The leaf in the middle there is new so these more than likely have roots since this time i stopped putting them in soil because i can't see the roots and i want to so two weeks ago my daughter came out to harvest and she accidentally broke off a whole branch i split it into two and it's been sitting right here this is recyclable that's the top of a plastic bottle it's just been sitting here in rainwater and it rooted. So my brother came recently. There were two of those. I'm sending him home with this one. We know that it has nice strong roots. It's beautiful and it's gonna um, grow as big as he would like for it to grow there. So the reason that I decided to show you guys today the longevity spinach is because the hard rain i guess broke it 
So this entire branch broke off. When I came out today, this was broken off and each notch was more little, you know, it was like these. So I broke most of them off. I took off the good leaves. We're gonna have it in salad today. And I'm gonna just leave them in here and they will root and become even more longevity spinach. Um, one thing I love about gardening is being able to share your abundance. And longevity spinach really speaks abundance to me. Like it has really been feeding us since we've been in San Diego. <clears throat> and now that we're here in Texas, those same two longevity spinach plants that we bought in San Diego from the nursery for maybe like $10 each are going to feed multiple people and family members. That one that we just potted up from our brother is going to Austin. These are for Auntie Chica. She lives um, in the same neighborhood but down the street. This one with the roots is going to go to my mom's house. and. That's just what I love about longevity spinach. I was kind of hurt when it broke this morning, but you can always just root. It just creates more and more and more and more. No matter how much I pick off of it, I still have enough for a salad the next day or to add it to a soup or to a smoothie the next day. Um, you can't even tell half of the time that I picked off of there. So you guys, check out Longevity Spinach. It has lots of health benefits, actually more healthy for you than regular spinach. And it's easier to grow and you do not have to keep on planting it over and over. And I just think it's a great choice for um, food security and sustainability. So you guys check out longevity spinach and let me know what is your favorite perennial i would love to hear that so comment below let me know you watched um hit the subscribe and like and share if you feel led and i thank you guys for being on this gardening journey with me it's amazing to share like what i'm learning and what i'm growing with you guys uh, so thanks for watching and i'll see you later peace